start this problem by asking what forces are acting on the car as it is going round the bend. Since the car is travelling in a circle as it is going round the bend, there must be a horizontal centripetal force acting on the car. The centripetal force is provided by the frictional force exerted on the tyres by the road. If there was no friction, the car would slide or just skid, just like it does on an icy day. When it is icy, the limiting friction for slip, in other words, the limiting static friction is low, and so it's not great enough to make the car go round the bend without sliding. Okay, so we draw ourselves a free body diagram again. So we have the frictional force acting radially inwards, and we have the force um, of the weight of the car acting downwards, mg, and the normal reaction force, n, acting vertically upwards. The centripetal force necessary to make the car go round the bend is given here by the expression shown on the screen, m v squared over r, and it's acting in the radial direction, so we have the unit vector r hat. m is the mass of the car, v is the car's speed, and r is the radius of the bend. And this centripetal force is provided by the frictional force on the tyres, as I said earlier. So Fs is equal to mu s n, and that in turn is equal to mu times the weight mg. If we equate those two previous equations, or the magnitudes of those two previous equations, we get mu mg is equal to mv squared over r, Rearranging, that gives us the coefficient of the static friction necessary for the car to go round the bend will be equal to V squared over Rg. Alternatively, we could say that the maximum speed is given by the square root of mu s Rg.